Like many of you, I too have many questions that remain unanswered. The chief of San Diego police facing cameras tonight to announce the death of one of his officers. Sergeant Joseph Ruvi, though, was under investigation for soliciting sex from a young girl and was due in court today, but never showed. Our tenders reporter Laura Acevedo is live in Carmel Valley where officers broke down Ruvido's door and found him. Laura. Chief Nislight says the department had tried to make contact with Revito after he posted bail, sending chaplains, their wellness unit, and officers to his apartment. All of those attempts unsuccessful. Acting Sergeant Joe Revito. He was a San Diego police officer for 21 years, and obviously, we don't condone what he is what he is accused of, obviously, uh, but he was still a member of this department. Addressing the media for the second time in just over a week, San Diego Police Chief David Nislay announced the death of Sergeant Joseph Revito. We definitely knew that he had not appeared in court. The news came after Revito missed his court appearance, an arraignment for soliciting sex with a minor, and one count of attempted lewd acts on a minor between the ages of 14 and 15. After the no-show, the judge issued a bench warrant and revoked his bail. Officers were sent to his home for a welfare check and forced entry after finding the apartment locked. Once inside, they found the 21-year veteran dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Like many of you, I too have many questions that remain unanswered. Neighbors finally getting an explanation for the police presence at their complex for the last week and a half. I noticed a lot of police cars here and, and nobody knew why. Those who knew him shocked. I saw him almost every day. We always said hello, but he's very private, lived by himself. He had a small dog, and my dog and him saw each other every single day. Revito was facing a four-year sentence if convicted, also having to register as a sex offender for life. Despite Revito's death, Chief Nislight says that the accusations that he was facing are still under investigation and anyone with information is asked to call the San Diego Police Department. Reporting live in Carmel Valley, Laura Acevedo, 10 News.